Right, the IFS brand has been known for many, many years as a leader in fiber optic technology, and now it's actually branched out not only into fiber optic technology, but into transmission in general. A lot of, a lot of companies here are talking about their edge devices, cameras, recorders, other equipment. Now we, we're talking about providing the means and the media of transmitting that signal from one point to the other. To do that, we have our new digital fiber line, which we've recently refreshed because the analog fiber has basically reached, not the end of life, but it's evolving into digital fiber. We have what we call a smart rack. The smart rack allows you to add audio, video, data trend, uh, interfaces into the same rack. This rack has diagnostics that you're able to access through a web interface. And that web interface will give you any kind of errors or any kind of power messages, alarms that may go on in the system. Now, moving on from the digital fiber, we have the Ethernet switches. These Ethernet switches are in 24 ports, 8 ports, basically any com configuration you'd like. They also come with fiber interfaces. These fiber interfaces allow for obviously longer distances and higher bandwidth. These also have a web interface. The web interface will allow you to configure some of the more advanced networking aspects of the system, as well as some of the layer two plus aspects, which will allow for the configuration of larger networks. Moving down towards these, uh, we also have switches that are called the industrial switches, which are hardened switches. These switches will withstand higher temperatures and are ideal for traffic applications, uh, exterior applications that are under a lot more stress than, say, an IT closet. And finally, with the media converters, media converters are very useful when we have existing infrastructure. In this case, we have the media converter, which is a Ethernet over coax. A lot of installations have coax cable that's used for analog, or was used for analog installations. You can take advantage of that coax installation and now run Ethernet over it using these media converters at each end. So that's the overview of the IFS, recently refreshed IFS line of transmission, media converting, and fiber optic products. Uh, today I'd like to talk to you about our True Vision line of video products. Uh, we have products here ranging from cameras to video recorders and all the way up to our software, our video management systems. Um, the first thing I'd like to talk about is our uh, DVR-60. It's a hybrid recorder. It does 16 analog and 8 IP channels. And also our new network video recorder, the TVN-20. The TVN-20 comes in an 8 or a 16 channel uh, count, all the way up to 16 terabytes of storage. Um, both of these recorders are consumed in our software. It's called True Vision Navigator. It's 4.0. It allows you to manage DVRs, hybrid DVRs and network video recorders all under one seamless graphical user interface. So our customers can mix and match different technology under one single graphical user interface um, in order to bridge their systems from their old legacy equipment all the way to our brand new True Vision line of recorders and cameras. Um, not to mention, we also have a full breadth of IP cameras, um, anywhere from VGA all the way to five megapixel. Those devices, those cameras are consumed in all of our recorder lines and again viewable through the True Vision Navigator 4.0 software. Hi, this is uh, True Portal from Interlogix. It's a new product that's releasing at the end of the year. Uh, we'll be out in the first quarter. It's our over the counter access control product integrated with our True Vision video line. The product is designed from the ground up to be easy to use for an end user up and running in five minutes, uh, a simple, uh, easy to use part numbering scheme, and a brand new user interface with simply used hardware designed for small to medium sized businesses.